What's up, everybody, and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV, and it's another installment of The Bold and the Beautiful. Before we jump into who's all here, let's tell you who's all sponsoring this episode. We've got Ship Station, Hello Fresh, Penn, Rose Hill, and BetterHelp. We'll tell you more about our sponsors later on in the podcast, but you know who this is. It's That Chick Angel, and I'm joined by Kev on stage, a.k.a. Kevin Fredericks. Kevin. Mrs. Kev on stage, a.k.a. Melissa Fredericks. Hello. Her Lisa. And then Tank, a.k.a. Marcus Tanksley. And y'all, we are doing a mukbang, a brunch mukbang. I know some of y'all love it. Some of y'all hate it because we be smacking. Oh, well, it's happening today because we were (laughs) hungry. We were hungry. Uh, We're going to be eating and we're going to be going back into the... uh, the end game that we had started uh, about two weeks ago. I uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed the best of going back and watching some of the clips of TV TV had yeah. me. Do- First of Mark all, we've done a story. lot. Yeah, I didn't realize how many of we had episodes. Done we have yeah. done a lot. Just on my channel alone, there are forty eight episodes. Oh wow! I, so I know oh, there's. There's three thousand on mine because yeah. we've done married at first sight. Two like, years in a row. Wow. Forty eight on yours. Forty eight in my playlist. Damn, that's crazy. Dang. I said, we be on here talking. When did we first do this uh, television program? (laughs) I feel like it was, yeah, season uh, three of Married at First Sight. Season three. (laughs) It It wasn't 20? It was 2020. Mm -hmm. It was 2020? Oh, it was. The only thing older than saying television program is television picture. The television picture. That's a good picture, right? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Picture show. Um, So hopefully you all loved it. I couldn't, my my memory ain't as good as it used to be. I'm just going to give six because we ain't going to make it through 12 and give this Kevin. Um, So I was trying to remember all the moments that had made me laugh. And then I was scanning through episodes and looking at the comments because y'all are good for giving a... At I'm this Sam, moment, yep. at two minutes That's, and fifty eight seconds, the way to do I it. died. I was like, I was scanning through. I was like, okay, that's a good. You moment. know, on YouTube too. Sometimes when I'm looking for that on the laptop. They have spikes yes. for when people replay. Yes. Oh, oh, I was using that too. Uh, yes. Yeah. When I'm looking for something, I'd be like, if it ain't time like that, I go look for the spikes. I, that's exactly Most was the played. method to my madness because I was like, I can't remember. We have talked so we have <laughs> discussed so many things. The uh, the ones that got me the most was us talking about our old living spaces, living spaces, just places that we have lived, especially in L.A. and just the the come up. Thank you, God. Man. Come on. <laughs> that I was that just see the house. Oh, dungeon. that thing. Dungeon. Boy, them bees lived with us. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, did you send it to the Patreon? Yeah. They won't get it. They didn't get today's episode for like 45 minutes. I didn't get it so late, too. That's why I texted you, like, uh, are y'all, y'all going to be finished on time? Are y'all doing anything? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Where is the, oh, there's the toast underneath here? Oh, tell people what y'all got. Marcus, tell them what you got before. Oh, wait, uh, let me take this real quick. <laughs> I just remember they talking about the come up on uh, today's Jason's birthday and I was going through my memories and we talked to Tammy this morning and we legitimately celebrated this man's birthday at Popeye's. Oh, yes. That's what Kevin was talking about on here's the thing. Before we started the episode, oh, I was God. telling how we were just talking about we was up in that Popeye's. Taking over. Like you could like it was Chuck E. Cheese. There. Like it is not. Like y'all had reservations. Marcus. Yes. yes. <laughs> Children. And this time we, all, we had baby babies. Yes. Children What's everywhere. Really Keita was there. Uh, oh, you know it was, Popeyes. but yes, right. we brought a Tammy, Jay, Jay. I'm trying to remember. All the kids probably Kayla weren't there, but it was probably just sure. Kayla and Juge, Isaiah, Joe, me, Kev, Monique, her. She probably had two kids at this time. CJ Mariah. Yeah, CJ and Mariah, Keita, Aman, their two kids. <laughs> like no, legitimately, they should have kicked us out. <laughs> oh, they didn't. No, no. <laughs> they weren't even tripping. The workers weren't well, tripping at all. Right. Like <laughs> in there, Martin. big loud. We oh, ordered so much years. chicken in there. We was drinking far beyond what a normal free refill is. Oh my god! We on our third and fourth <laughs> cup of strawberry soda. What <laughs> made y'all choose Popeyes? They Popeyes didn't like the chicken. Jay Popeyes like had a ten dollar box. Jay liked Popeyes at Jay the time too. It. Popeyes be slapping. We ate a lot slapping. of Popeyes at that time in our yeah, life. Yeah, I can't eat it now though. Oh, it no. gives me heartburn. <laughs> It mm. tears my stomach apart. Oh, if the I worst! Eat it, it feels like I'm. It feels like a hangover the next day. Yes, that's what. And the I thing I never liked Popeyes. What? Really? Never liked it. He's bougie. 
not even I, their I biscuits? Especially the biscuits. They were too dry. Yeah. Let me tell you so something. Black. Battle of the biscuits. <laughs> I worked at KFC. Hmm? I worked at KFC out of, um, or during high school. Yeah, like right during high school. And I would, before I went on lunch, put my hot wings down. <laughs> And cook my biscuits. Hold on. Before I went on lunch. Show enough. Show enough. Put my JoJo's down, put my hot wings down, and put myself a biscuit. As soon as them things dinged, that's when it was time for me to clock out. I can't is go it, on lunch with the food ready. Is yeah. that Louisiana based? Mm-mm. It's just a chain. Oh, Popeye's? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. It might taste better in, look, KFC tastes better in Kentucky. Mm. Really? Yes. I don't like KFC that much. Like, I, I, I've never been a big fast food fan. I don't like KFC that much. Like I like rallies, yeah. rallies and checkers. Yep. Yeah, checkers. oh, that'll make my stomach hurt. KFC skin. Back in the day, I can't now. But yeah, I can't do it. KFC yeah. skin tastes like a warm paper towel. Okay, Their hot wings are good. The hot wings regular- are good. No, but listen to me, you guys. Oh, yeah. This is what you have to do: cook it fresh. And then get the mashed potato well, we gravy. Fresh. I know. I learned all the tricks. I learned all the tricks. Like, tricks. How to do that I, part. Tell, get somebody to work. You tell the little kid to work that. Listen, I'm on my way. Yeah, get somebody to do it. And then get the mashed potato gravy and put that on top of the original <laughs> Popeye's chicken. Wait, KFC gravy? Yes. I'm um, Papa oh, Papa she chicken. Over here yes. Cross contaminating. Hey, that's like cologne. You got Were you your married? Oh, gravy? yeah. I'm I'm definitely, definitely, you getting gravy in your car? No, at, during my lunch. I would take a scoop oh, of the yeah, mashed KFC potato. Gravy. Yeah, the KFC gravy. <laughs> I thought you said KFC gravy to Popeye's. Oh, no, no, no. The KFC like, gravy to the gravy original KFC chicken. Got it. And eat those you know, two I together. I walk across the street with some KFC stuff in the They Popeyes. were across the street, though. <laughs> they were. They were. Wait, you was pouring gravy on chicken? That was fire. I mean, they do it now as a actual on the menu. That's because they got it from the employees. Come on. Sure. Now, so, that cakes. I'm sorry. Go ahead, cakes. <laughs> they had good cakes to it. The little chocolate chip cake at KFC. Oh, my God. I never went that far. They never really sold them that Aww. much, but they were good. I'm just back there. I used to get the little cheesecake. Oh boy, with those the Hershey's joint. Boy, the only I thing I got you. were cookies from Burger King. Them chocolate. You chip know ones. what? Burger King lets you eat all the free food in the world except those cakes. Really? If you mm. wanted to buy, if you wanted to eat those, yes, you had to pay full price for those cakes. They still got eaten for free, but in theory, that's what the, that's what the king wanted us to do. Wait, did we ever have a fast food job? Did you ever have a fast food job? No, absolutely, absolutely not. Fast food mutt box. Subway. I never worked at a fast food. I worked at a <clears throat> restaurant, but never fast food. Mm. I, I was about to say, long story short, show your love to Jason by getting diarrhea, by going to Popeye's <laughs> today and yeah. getting you a wing. Yeah. There you go. And then you're going you gonna to remember him all day. Man. Pop today and tomorrow. It's going to talk to you. Okay, t- uh, tell people what, you now. tell them what you're eating that's almost gone, that you're chomping on. <laughs> I got a uh, smoked salmon omelet, fruit, and then over here. <laughs> you got a side, you got a side entree. That's like dessert. Other, and my other plate, side of waffles. You know they had the waffles on there. I got some strawberry and banana put on that bad boy. And Ooh. we are definitely one because I have two. It looks like they gave me three dishes. This is supposed to be avocado toast, but they put a whole salad on top of it. They sure did. They, I thought it was a salad. Yes, I was. They gave me salad dressing and everything. I said I can't get to the toast until I get through the salad. But I also got breakfast tacos I love and breakfast. some potatoes. Oh. What'd you get, Liz? Um, I wanted to get an um quinoa scramble. Oh my god! But my husband forbade me. Why? She don't like quinoa. Oh. I do like quinoa. Liz. I absolutely do like quinoa. Liz. No, every time I eat at uh, whatever that restaurant is called on Winneka, uh dang. Chop chop? No, 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 with the good bread. Hmm. Chad, I can't Olive. think of the name of it. No. <laughs> yeah, on Winneka. Let's go eat Cabo. And the same as the parking lot. I mean, as the parking lot, as the uh, the ice cream place and the the little movie theater. Oh, oh! Um, On the other side, of Applebee's. Boy, her favorite place. My, it's my Stone favorite Oreo. place. Stonefire. Stonefire. Stone oh, yeah. Dang. I'm like, I can see the place. Yes. Right there. <laughs> Dang, I'm struggling. Oh, that's way up there. Y- yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My courthouse. Uh, it's it's on one acre. Mm-hmm. It was across from my job. I used to go there all the time. Anyways. The movie theater closed, didn't it? Huh? Hmm? The movie theater did it close? 
I think I think it's been closed. It's I don't money know who They're money laundering now. who goes there. I sometimes, but it's been a long time. That's what I'm saying. We saw Arby's the other day, yesterday. Out here, it was closed down. They had it boarded up. I like Arby's. I still eat it. I think Kevin's the only person patronizing them. No, they make billions. No, I think they did get by. No, 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 they buy. <laughs> they bought Buffalo. Oh, Wild maybe Wings. they bought. I think that's true because we was like, "Why y'all got y'all money?" He said, they, "No, they bought. <laughs> they bought Buffalo Wild Wings." I hate Arby's. Arby's, Arby's do billions Arby's? in revenue. I feel like we could put a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, <laughs> and buy Arby's today. <laughs> quarter, quarter, quarter. <laughs> That's because y'all don't like Arby's. Y'all Nobody don't eats Arby's. People eat Arby's. Nobody's People. Like, you know what sounds good today? Arby's. No, literally you know no one. That's not true because they have a whole commercial that says, I'm thinking Arby's. Yeah, and that came from the people. <laughs> They're like, come on, guys. Come on, Nobody Alexa. Nobody want bread, meat, and no sauce. They It'd be Arby's dry. Fries. Also, it's how is that roast beef? It ain't. It's <laughs> just it's a beef napkin, little napkin. Did it's not changing that? anything about my life. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> what did you eat? Because yours is gone. Uh, I had. Um, we were talking about that. <laughs> a scramble egg uh, and bacon and peppers, and I got some potatoes. But I put top of tea on. I don't know who was at Top of Tio Factory that day. It was spicy. They put a little bit extra top in that Tio. Because that too thing spicy? was flames. Uh, sourdough toast. I could not somebody, finish up the sneeze as they was mixing Man, it. They, they <laughs> went extra on that Top of Tio. Okay, good. I can't do it today. Uh, ask Melissa her first question. Okay. Melissa, here's my question. Okay. Butt stuff. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Am I at home or out of town? Okay. Hey! Yo! Come on, hey! <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Travelocity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's not healthy about my relationship to money? That's an interesting question. What is not healthy about your about relationship? About my relationship to money. Um, oh, to money. Oh, to money. Okay. Monty. I was like, how do they know about money? <laughs> no. Um... Okay, your relationship with money that's not healthy. Um, I, that you don't know how to do math. He be see, does he see money that ain't there or he? No, no, no. He'll he'll. This is how Kevin does money. He'll have a dollar. We'll talk. We'll all be talking about the same dollar. But somehow, <laughs> if a dollar is composed of a hundred pennies, somehow he thinks it's five hundred. And so he'll split the dollar, and you're like, you are way past spending the one dollar we're sitting here talking about. But he doesn't. It doesn't always. Accusations. He doesn't. False (laughs) accusations. It don't be making sense. Why you do that, Kevin? I don't know, man. I just see more than that's there. He he, sure enough sees more than meets the eye. Yeah. Uh, I I can't argue with that at all. (laughs) Uh, Let's ask Kevin one of his questions. Okay. If there was one thing that I still don't understand about you, what is it? Mm, that's a good one. I'll tell you right after this ad. Oh, my goodness. As I've been shipping these goddamn on Mama Likes purses, I, I'm just so grateful that I have ShipStation because I can see what the cost would be. If I were just shipping them by my lonesome without being a uh, a proud member of ShipStation, and let me tell you, them purses would be a lot more expensive <laughs> to cover them shipping costs. Um, in a landscape where free and fast shipping is norm, it can be hard for smaller e-commerce businesses to compete. Keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. When you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs, make returns easy, and keep your customers happy. And with all the time you save from automating your shipping tasks, you can keep your businesses growing all year long. Um, Marcus and I both run um, an e-commerce business. So do Kevin and Melissa. And it can be stressful. Fulfillment, especially if you're doing it in-house, just trying to make sure people get the right stuff, trying to make sure it gets out in a timely fashion, <laughs> choosing the right carriers, just making it, it's... Oh, it's so stressful. It's stressful, Very. especially if it's not your only job. Mm-hmm. Well, ShipStation, you get a free trial, and it's a quick setup. And, and when I say quick, it's uh, it probably took us less than five minutes, if even that, because it uh, works with so many different platforms. Um, ShipStation makes it easy to grow your business by handling your orders from every 
marketplace on one dashboard. ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order with one simple dashboard. Automate routine shipping tasks. Print shipping labels. Easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. With the best discounts in the industry, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation, and 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for a lifetime. Keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Use promo code TBTB today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code TBTB. TBTB. All right, go ahead, What you understand about me, I'm not asleep. (laughs) You not sleep? I'm not sleep. sleep. <laughs> you will okay. Just you, you hear snoring. So what? What is uh, that? I what actually that thought even? you were going a different direction with Our that. No, no, no. The I'm, same I'm person. Going oh, okay. We, if we were supposed to do stuff, if stuff was inside of stuff, <laughs> I'm not asleep. <laughs> I don't care what you hear. I don't care what my, my eyes could be going like this underneath my eyeballs. Full REM. I'm not asleep. <laughs> Touch me. I'm awake. I'm going to be ready before you even finish. I'm going to be ready. If we talked about it on the ride home, don't let me do that. I'm not asleep. I'm just waiting for you. I was waiting. I wanted, I wanted you to finish that email, and I want you to rub up on me. I'm not asleep. Okay? I've never been to sleep in my life. I don't even sleep. We're I've never been, away. Remember how many black they was on a circadian schedule? The twins keep us on a circadian Why do you schedule? remember this specific thing? Because from? they, not, they not remember the names, though. Yes. Because they they're not forget. asleep. I'm not asleep. Okay? So remember that. It's even more weird. I knew exactly what he was talking about. Yes, because everybody remembers that part of the movie. And, the, he went, and I'm not asleep. So do, <laughs> do, I'm not asleep. do what you said. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this. Right? Oh my Marcus. god! Go on and go up in there. What's your question for me? Um, what would make you never speak to me again? Oh, so many things. <laughs> <laughs> so many. It's, such a, a, it's a laundry the list. The list is so goddamn long. <laughs> there are so many things that would make me go. Well, that's the end of our conversations. Uh, yeah, I really. I don't really want to actually go down the list, but just know it is lengthy mm-hmm. <laughs> and absolute. Yeah. Yeah. It's all actually very possible. And so thank you for staying off of that list. I, Marcus, you like bananas? Hmm? You like bananas? Yeah. You're the only person that don't like bananas. Him and little uh, Marcus. There's got to be some what? other people who don't little like bananas. Marcus don't like yeah, bananas now. I was like, yeah. I mashed them up and put it in my oven the other day. It was oh, so good. God. Babe, Cassie. did you know what Riz meant? Riz, I know. He said, it. "What the hell? I need to know what Riz means." I learned it from you Isaiah. You got to Riz Angel up. You got to Riz her up. I said, "I don't Four think no Marcus." Knows. Three times. No, that ain't no Riz, that's not Riz. Marcus. Charisma. You got to Riz her so you can do those things to yeah. her. You got to Riz her. I, I did those things. That was Riz. That ain't Riz and Marcus. That was the end result of me. That, <laughs> that's the end result of you Riz. <laughs> you jizzing. <laughs> now jizz, we know. <laughs> yeah. Jizz is. It's short for charisma, but it means like game. Like yes. she, he got now, game or swag. What, so we went down, the, we went down the list mm-hmm. of slime, and Josh was quite upset. He did oh, yeah. so Wait, what slime? Slime is. Uh, we is, like, oh, what you call each other? Oh. We no, didn't know it, was it wasn't like no, Josh. You were like, I don't think you all should say <laughs> that. You got to give me definitives. Girl, he not. said, I don't think he from L.A. Just believe him. Wait, well, we see, can't say slime. No, no, no. Like referring to somebody, like, what's up, slime? This is how. I'm confused. Exactly. Well, let's just talk about Nickelodeon. I don't know. I know I'm so confused. Uh, I know it's blood affiliated. I don't know if it's a friend or a foe. We're talking about gangs? Yeah, yes. exactly. And the name of the gang is Slime? No, that's a, re- a reference to someone. This is exactly what I'm uh-huh. saying. This is what I'm saying. Look, we too old. I was trying to figure out a bit. That's our I was confused. You ain't like. We talk about gangs. I think that's our generation that said that, though. But. We didn't grow, I didn't grow up in the streets. I was on military bases. There's not no gangs there. Ooh, they have the fake gang. gangs. They have fake gangs. Bogan, the, the MP. That's the name of your 
neighborhood. <laughs> they show <laughs> like, right. You've been on orders yeah. for two months. Y'all Shut be up. <laughs> Just <laughs> <not>. <laughs> This is, their dad is TDY yeah, right now. Yeah. All of our houses look the same. Slime is an affiliate like town. Seven. Dude, we need a key card to get in here. What do you <laughs> <laughs> And an ID. They made the same house Before 700 you times enter. in this place. We are safe. Here. You are safe. <laughs> Literally have police at the gate. Okay. Marcus, what do you think is the easiest thing for me when it comes to money? Not spending it. Really? Not spending it? Yeah. Angel, Angel don't spend no money? Oh, no, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> okay. Angel don't like for me to spend money. Her, on the other hand. That's oh. the easiest thing yeah, yeah, for no. me to do is to stop him. I take it back. <laughs> hey, no, 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 that's not just not a smart thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Dior purse. This is uh, you. These, uh, these shoes are cute. They're Gucci. <laughs> I didn't buy you know, it though. When, oh. it, when, it, when it's me, it's just like, oh, it's just Marcus, why are you? You, <laughs> you see how much this is, bitch? We got a hundred thousand dollars worth of bags in this house. That's a lie. And you. shoes. That's a lie. Add them up. That's a lie. All right, fifty thousand. Regardless, mm. uh, the, she ain't easiest thing, all the easiest thing. The easiest thing. I will say the, e- the easiest thing for Angel to do is be a hypocrite when it comes to spending money. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the easiest thing. I would agree. Because I could walk in and them shoes could cost five digits. No, for her. Never. Right, four. Don't you ever make F- it sound five like digit it. Give us an shoe. example, Angel. Well, We're here for the ex- example all that right, makes sense. Shut up. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exaggeration for uh, the point right, of the story. They could right. cost four digits. Kevin, that's, that's a thousand something. I seen them looking up in the air. <laughs> you count the one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you count the one. Got it. <laughs> He's so stupid. I knew. He I, knew I knew that. I nah, really knew that. I really knew that. Digits, but let it be something. I never for me. heard nobody say five digits. I realize I hear six digits all the time. And that's I a, that. that's Look, a $10,000 shoe. A I know. But people would be like, I got a yeah. five digit job. They Six figures is where you start. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't really five digits. Five. You making 99. You living in uh, Kansas. Hey. 99, 99 is close to six. It is. 99, 99. Yeah, 99. yeah but go. most, you're yeah. paying about three digits for shoes, though. Yes. Yeah, but four. For sure. You know, I'm saying four, four it's digits for sure. Y'all rare. paid more. Y'all, you paid more than four? No, heck no. I barely, know. rarely I play this, four. This I, I, I spend okay, high threes. Then, God dang, it's the, that's what I was about to say. It was it's more a than couple penny short of fours. Making. What yeah. I'm saying, my yeah. Sh- yeah. What you got on right now? Shoes you bought. All right, those got them. D- a um, couple penny short of four digits. He did that though. Boots don't count. Why? See, see. I, I just said it. Calm down, everyone. Yeah, first of all, before we start going down the line, all right. Boots, boots don't. don't count. <laughs> Are they shoes? No. But that's my answer. Angel can. It's easy for her to be a Most of my shoes don't. are two digit. I have a couple. I have a couple that aren't. If lying was a person. We listen. I can go through my closet and show you. Most of oh, mine are two digits. Oh, let's do it tonight. Let's my, do it. Most of mine are right fifty, now. sixty dollars, and then I got a couple. I don't want to play this game. Angel, <laughs> Angel is a lie and a half. And also, boots don't count <laughs> because, boots because don't. they got to. Now, if more. we okay, but this is the thing: if you don't include boots, boots, my boots are. Right, I wear Nikes. That's it. What tennis shoes? Okay, I don't want to play it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Both, 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 both y'all just like, throwing dirt out of the hole that you said. She looked at me. You know what? I don't want to talk about this so far. I, go I don't know why I'm even answering. This you is your question. That's my question. Let's just shut <laughs> up. Just, <laughs> Wait, I don't want to talk about this. Yo, jump back out there, Liz. No, no, no. She said, I wear Nikes. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. This is the type of situation that Liz would tell me to shut up on to try to help me. Tank, shut up. That's what I just said to myself, girl. Why are you talking? This is not your question. Shut up. Liz was jumping out there. I was like, go ahead, Because I know her shoe collection to stop the hell out of all of us. Shut up. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this no more. Uh, okay. I'm selling me a whole bunch of shoes, too, right now. In the three figures. I'm, this is how cheap my What's shoes are. Right? There's a bunch I'm about to just give away because I have a lot of cheap shoes. Mm-hmm. Am I, I next? Do. Yeah. Well, I am? Yeah. All right. And I ask Melissa. Okay, go ahead. question on this? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a <laughs> It's upside down. No, it's not. Right. Don't think I'm going to not slap you upside your oh, head this because is, you're mourning, Kevin. Which one? This one is very similar to the one I just asked. What are you hesitant to tell me? What am I hesitant to tell you? Mm. <laughs> but don't you ever. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Um, I am hesitant to tell you uh, problems that I want you to commiserate with me on mm. because you quickly want to fix them. You know what's funny about this? Fair play to you for that. <laughs> I learned this lesson early in marriage. I have failed it. <laughs> <laughs> it is right there. We talked about this. Yeah, so the, I want to say the first times. Love Hour tour. We did. Marcus, I know this, <laughs> but by golly, it is so hard. I get it. It is really hard. I did it the other day, probably last week. I, I called Mel. I said, I messed it up. I, went <laughs> I messed it up. As I got in the car, I realized I did this wrong. <laughs> she said, this is all you had to say. It would be so hard. <laughs> you you called know. me back and fixed it, I though. called you back and fixed you it, but it. in the moment... It is it is like the doctor hitting your knee with that uh re thing. Re yeah. Reflex. It's reflect. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know how not to be the way I am. Yeah. I be married it. sometimes, just sometimes learning the same lesson over Man. and over. Man, it's like <laughs> telling no, my no, kids. Reminded of the yeah. same lesson, like, damn it. Marcus, <laughs> we have told our children, our boy children, if you ever put something in the trash and the lid don't close, it's time to take it out. How many times, Kevin? It's like I be like, Nigga, do I you can not do a whole see? show on the trash and these kids? <laughs> Two things get me, Marcus: the trash and the cereal. I like Raisin Bran Crunch. Mm -mm. It's my favorite cereal. Raisin, Raisin Bran, Raisin yes, Bran Crunch. Yeah, dang, he's Marcus. He's the so worst <laughs> part of my life. Somehow, is not even both Raisin of Bran. my no, no. <laughs> <laughs> even worse. Both of my children. Like raisin bran crunch. Really? Melissa don't even like it. I don't like and it. And she eats it. <laughs> I figured I like as a child who grew up, nobody's favorite cereal is raisin bran or raisin bran crunch. So when I got married and had children, I'm like, this is going to be all mine. Kids going to eat cinnamon toast crunch and Cuchillos, whatever. Not Cuchillos. Cuchillos? I don't know why what? I said that. <laughs> I don't know what Gucci. I was thinking. Oh, Why would wait, you say that? Mom, what does the know. little cereal piece of cereal look like? I don't know. <laughs> Cuchillos. I don't know how that came about. Oh, no. Favorite part of your morning. <laughs> really don't know. Oh, on that note, <laughs> our next sponsor is HelloFresh. <laughs> That's not something that you'll ever get delivered <laughs> by HelloFresh because they only send you farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home that? cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Oh. Ooh. HelloFresh now has 40 weekly recipes to choose from, so you can say <laughs> bye-bye to rest of the recipe rut and treat yourself and your family to some exciting new flavors every week. No matter your lifestyle or meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table from fit and wholesome to veggie or family friendly. You always find something even the pickiest eaters will enjoy. Obviously, the tank sleeves, we use this as our entire like meal planning for the week. But for those of you all who don't want to do that, there are so many ways that you can use HelloFresh. You can just get a couple of meals a week, like two or three on the days that you know, hey, I don't want to have to think about it. I just want to be able to cook. Even if you are a single person, HelloFresh has smaller meal plans so that you're not feeling like you're wasting food. But you know that you're saving money and time because every adult deserves to save money and time. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB65. TBTB65. And use code TBTB65. TBTB65. For 65% off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB65. TBTB65. And use code TBTB65. TBTB65. For 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. You better know it. Now, after you done ate, okay, it, it, as your mother would say, <laughs> while you're eating, sometimes <laughs> you just want to have a nice glass of vino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And buying wine can sometimes be just really difficult because there's so many different um, brands of wine. You're trying to figure out what would actually go with your taste and how the things that you like. Now, think about it. Picture this. Go back with me. You're at a crowded supermarket, cruising the wine aisle, feeling lost, intimidated, or just tired of always buying the same thing. You want to explore, but you don't know where to begin. You need First Leaf. Here's why. 
As America's most personalized wine company, First Leaf takes the guesswork out of wine selection. It's easy. You just take their short sales taste quiz and rate the first few wines they send you. Then First Leaf will use your responses to curate a spe- customized selection of delicious award-winning wines based on your personal preferences with 96% accuracy. A variety of new and exciting wines will be delivered to your door with each bottle priced lower than what you would pay at a wine store. You even get to choose when you receive your wine, and every selection is backed by First Leaf Satisfaction Guarantee. This is why I love it. I don't really like getting recommendations from other people because their taste buds don't always be my taste buds. I need for you to know exactly what I like and then recommend from there, and that's how First Leaf does it. And then plus, again, you saving time because they just sending it right to you. And with them being so accurate... Nine times out of ten, you're going to get wines that you enjoy. And First Leaf is backing it, right? They are making sure you are satisfied. So sign up today and you'll get your first six bottles for $39.95 plus free shipping. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash TBTB. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash TBTB. TBTB. To get your first six bottles for $39.95 $39.95 plus Good free shipping. Wine. Okay, come on now. Really Try firstleaf.com slash TBTB. TBTB. And, so. then, and then wine bottles be like the real size. Oh, yeah. yeah not no little samples. Mm-hmm. So the endless amount of different cereals that's on the market. How? <laughs> that's why I was over here laughing to myself about how did Cuchillos roll off because, of your tongue? Marcus... <laughs> I like coochie. But did you mean, but for the kids, did you mean Cheerios? <laughs> for the I kids? think I was thinking Cheerios, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, but morning time might mean coochie. I don't understand. Josh, put it back on the wire. Uh, um, it be delayed. No, I wasn't delayed that time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, you know what's funny? I wasn't even thinking about coochie at the time. I was literally thinking, what cereals do my sons like? That's why I said Seven Toast Crunch. And then I couldn't think of nothing else. And my brain was like, Gucci, was Gucci. And oh. then I said it. And I was like, wait, that's not nothing. That's not. I don't. And Your I realized, I don't know that broken. many more cereals that they like than. They really only cinnamon like toast crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, uh, Raisin Brand Crunch. Isaiah sometimes will eat the the uh, chocolate ones that I can't think of the name Cocoa of. Puffs? Thank you. I was eating Raisin Bran as a kid, but that's because sometimes I would be staying with my, at my granny's house for the summer. <laughs> Well, being with kids, uh, like that. You know what? Yeah. Okay. When we were on I Wick, we had... why I like it. What you call it? Because we was on Wick. I mean, it wasn't called Wick at the time, but we ate kicks. We was on Wick. Yes, we Wick had kicks too. We was on Wick growing up, and Wick doesn't let you have good cereal. Not sugar-filled cereal. Not so sugar-filled we had cereal. grape nuts, which is the worst. Mm-hmm. Kicks, kid has some other approved, uh, mm-hmm. and Raisin Bran, a lot. And my mom was like, I'm sorry, they don't have, like, whatever's on a commercial for y'all on the cartoons, they, you can't not, have that. Now they <laughs> do, on a cartoon character, you ain't getting Now it. they do Honey Nut Cheerios. And That's what got my kids hooked when we were We had with. yellow Cheerios, Cheerios was, and oh. that is, boy, regular Cheerios But Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios is good. The only so thing maybe that's why I got Cheerios, Cheerios and Corn Flakes is Honeycombs. Honeycombs. You don't like, so you don't like honeycombs? honeycombs? Trash. Oh, my God, I love Honeycombs. No. You know what? I'm going to say this, and it's probably people don't agree. You Frosted like, mini wheats. You have terrible taste. So good. You like those? I knew he was going to say. I knew it. If he like raisin bran. Frosted mini wheat checks. The frosted. I love checks. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God I hate checks. Honey nut checks. Honey <laughs> checks. Not regular checks. You don't like checks? We buy checks. No, I like honey nut checks. Honey I don't like regular oh, checks. Oh, what's, your, what's your favorite cereal? Ooh, my favorite cereal Penis is bones. probably right. <laughs> my favorite cereal <laughs> is probably, actually, probably honey nut checks. Okay. Honey nut check? Mm-hmm. Honey check. It's a toss up between <coughs> cinnamon toast crunch and apple jacks. Oh, and I oh, love apple I don't jacks. like apple jacks. Oh my god, I love apple, apple jacks. Jack. I don't I don't oh, mind that the pink, taste. That pink milk at the end. Oh, and, then, and then the second oh nigga, the it second It don't taste bowl. like apples. It's not it supposed to taste it, like apples. I know, that's what I'm saying. That was the commercial. No, it don't taste like apples. Yes. Call it something else. No. No. <laughs> Mine well, was, what do you uh, say to that? Bread and raisin. <laughs> <laughs> that's what raisin bread is. That's the reason it's why raisin no, and bread. No, and yeah, they, I hate both oh, that, of those that, things. That, that so second bowl of apple jacks, though, and cinnamon toast. Ooh, I goodness. liked fruity pebbles. 
I don't like fruity table. The, it, it's it, too small. It's too small for and the meal. Too fast. You gotta eat faster. You gotta be big, <laughs> yeah. girl. Pebbles, ha, la, 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 la. I don't care how big a spoon you get. Fruity pebbles will never fill your mouth. <laughs> I <laughs> no. love it. I Captain like Crunch, pebbles. I like too, but you gotta eat it at the right time, or it rips up the roof of your mouth every time. I that, that's why toast Tony has a really funny joke about that. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. But the but the oops all berries. It's worth the scratches. Captain Crunch is rule an unusual punishment. No, Crafting yes. Crunch straight up with no berries? Rule and unusual punishment. Cruel. 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 Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Rule? Cruel uh, and unusual punishment. I was like, wait a minute, baby. I remember what when he said? said rule and unusual punishment? You That's way that. worse than Cuccio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my kid's like, Cuccio. <laughs> I was like, I I sir, I but let's ask your question. Okay, up. my All question right, is... <laughs> If you can grant me one wish, what would that wish be? If I had one wish, <laughs> grant me that Ray wish. J. See, see, Ray J. Life. If you, if I could grant you one <laughs> wish, thank God to have supreme confidence. I knew that's what you were gonna say. I feel like if you had supreme confidence, you, I filtered you through my questions because I was like, I knew this <laughs> gonna say this. Really? <laughs> you wanted to hear it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to confirm if I was right. You, uh, supreme confidence. If you had just, I'd be having like reckless I'm about confidence. To give your questions at the moment. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> y'all was ha ha ha. I was. <laughs> I can't trust this. She's like, I have like, nothing I to chance. One. She's like, Let's I see. am leaving nothing yeah. to chance. Listen, go buy another copy of that Sorry. game and have her own question. <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I took those all right. <laughs> yeah. Here's my private select. Right. <laughs> yes. My She's like, private yeah. reserve. I was like, why is the car red? I don't know. Uh -huh. And you handed it to me. Mm -hmm. uh, supreme confidence. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's like, I knew you go. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> go ahead, baby. Who is the emotional center of our family, and why? I would think it's me. Shit, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what does emotional center mean? Emotional center. Yeah, what? I've never heard that phrase. It's mm -hmm. Me either. I would think, just under my, you know, you I, I mean, they set the tone for the education that mm -hmm. I had. Maybe. Um, emotional center, I would think the person that, uh, the epicenter of the, um, the person you would go to when you feel in a certain way, the person that can help you understand why you feel a certain way. It's this it. all makes sense. I was trying to Google it, but I, I, I mean, I what don't know. I'm word? guessing. Amygdala? Yep. Amygdala. Yeah. Amygdala is the, in <laughs> Why you go to another description. Integrative center for emotions, emotional behavior, and motivation. Oh, that's in the actual. I think mind. that's your. Yeah, in that the in the, brain. in the brain. Yeah, I, well, would I was get, like, you can't say an explanation that I don't know. I that's would say, language. yeah, I would say whatever it's emotion, me. anything is you. Yeah, I would say it's me. I think I, I set the tone for what. I mean, which is a shame because I am very not emotional. So <laughs> the more tone, than I am. yes, but that's not <laughs> saying much. <laughs> There's rocks that are more emotional than you are. <laughs> oh, bless my kids' hearts! They're going to be so constipated with their emotions. <laughs> when do you come to me for help instead of other fam others in the family? <laughs> When don't I? <laughs> this is exactly what I was thinking. This Our is not a good is one. Trash. This is not a good one. I would go to like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Seal for like legal stuff. Oh, and y'all can answer this one too. This is a good one. When was the last time I misunderstood you, and why do you think I did? When was the last time I the misunderstood last time you? you misunderstood me mm -hmm. was I'm sure recently. Mm -hmm. We misunderstand each other all the time. Uh. The last time, I don't know. The one that I'll say, the one that sticks, uh, the one I can think of right now is the influencer content creator conversation. Oh, you guys, we got in a little tiff, <laughs> a little tangsly tiff, because we were. I was telling him what I believe to be the difference between an influencer and a content creator. Mm -hmm. I was like, there are people who are content creators that are not influencers. I was like, therefore, it doesn't always behoove a brand to work with someone who just <laughs> creates content because they need you to influence the behavior mm -hmm. of your audience. Mm -hmm. And so I was giving him examples. <clears throat> and he was like, why are you just now telling me this? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He was like, why wouldn't you tell me this distinction before now 
if that's something important. And I was like, because that's like, that's like down the line. First, we just got to get content being made by you. Distinction of how it's being made doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because the blueprint, I need to see the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Not just the that, section you why, think and, is important. And, and, and that's why she uh, <clears throat> misunderstood me. Because she has a way that she... <laughs> you cleared your throat at such a funny time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 He's like, that's, that's why she... Uh, uh, that, uh, that's a little citrusy. Uh, no, because it's like I compared it to like a set of blueprints. I was like, I don't just go to the finite details and say, okay, what's this? I look at the entire picture first. I want to yeah. see the whole thing. Because you lay the so foundation If I'm, down, if I'm over here swinging a hammer and building mm-hmm. that, at least I have a picture of what I'm going to and not just blindly going through this. Right. That's just how I see things. That's yeah. how I like to be, you know, top mentor. That's not how she does things. So it's just that's the difference between – yeah. Both of us. I'm like, I got to see you perfect one thing before I add another thing. And he's like, give me everything, and mm-hmm. then I'll decide well, how I just want to see the picture on the Lego box. Yeah. He might not be able to build the spaceship yet, but I need to know <laughs> what it's going to look what like. I'm working Absolutely. towards. I got to build the base first, but let me let see me what build I'm building toward. I'll be like, I ain't got to I said, that ain't up to, for you to decide. Oh, actually, So it is, your, what was the misunderstanding? Is that he didn't understand why... He, he felt like I was misunderstanding why he felt he needed it earlier, this information earlier on. And uh, I guess he misunderstood me or understood me. And we just disagreed on why I was like, no. Mm. That <laughs> is the one of the biggest things in like when you and your partner don't align mm-hmm. is understanding. I tell Kevin this too. I understand. I don't agree. Yes. You have to know when the argument is done. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't need you to rephrase and rebox this. I don't need you to repackage yeah. it. I, I hear you. I don't, I like this. don't agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have and to like, okay. and yes, decide, that's what it's like. All right. We disagree. On yes. This. But, but you yeah, eventually, yeah, otherwise, no you, I find myself right. constantly trying to like rehash, rehash, yeah, 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 repackage, yeah. re-say it differently. Let me try from this angle. Let me try. No, 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 no. Right. We just don't agree. That's okay, too. That's we okay. don't have to walk away from here agreeing. Right. As long as yeah. you understand. Yeah. Somebody said, uh, Tank still on the engineering mindset. We off that playboy. No, we not. <laughs> this is how I think. <laughs> right, right, I right. I think like an engineer. That's why I went into engineering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I am where I am today. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the way I think. Yeah. Right. He didn't realize he's got a creative wife. Oh, I realized that like, a long time ago when y'all's ass was hula hooping in uh, uh, the grad school. We weren't hula hooping. Well, y'all was carrying you hula hoops to class. You just be making up stuff. <laughs> was y'all not carrying hula hoops to class and doing uh, uh, contact stuff not and moving no around? Hula hula hoop. Hoop. <laughs> I remember hula this. Hoop. That was acting stuff. That was not Yeah, no you've done it. <laughs> I have done it. I thought it was stupid. You got not, don't touch the other person. But where is a hula hoop? That's how I knew you. Somebody had a goddamn hula. It was not I remember my class like thinking like, That's hilarious. People paying a lot of tuition. Why is this person having There was no hula hoop. That's what I will say. Uh, <laughs> last last time you I misunderstood. Uh, I was trying to think of mine. You have one? Oh, everybody answering one. this question? Yeah, I said because I, I thought right. it was a good one. Right. This was pre, this is Valentine's Day dinner weekend this past year. This uh, past weekend. Last weekend? Two weeks ago. Week mm-hmm. ago. Last weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh... We were talking about oh, okay. friendship. Uh huh. We were talking about friendship, and Melissa was explaining what she wanted our friendship to be. And what I said, my fear in that was, and she didn't, the fear part didn't land on her. It's like mm-hmm. uh, the fear of this is my fear that I can't deliver. It was like my fear is that I can't do that. More like, I, I'm not that person and I can't be that for you. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So my fear really was, let me try to figure this. I'm not sure if I can reach that level, Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is a different fear, which is a different fear and will unlock a different feeling. Yeah. Right. Right. So uh, what I was saying is I'm going to try. It's very aspirational. And what she heard was, I can't be that what, what I need you to be. Mm. So in therapy, we work that out though. Mm-hmm. A lot of times in your relationship, it's misunderstanding, even though, you the other person might have communicated clearly sometimes your mind just take it in differently like yeah i'm gonna hear this how and i don't want to say like i'm gonna hear this how i want to hear it it's just how your mind intakes the information different parts land a lot of it i feel depends on how you feel at the moment about your relationship and about yourself your mind inputs that through like a filter i would say and then it regurgitates it based on how you're feeling and where your relationship is at. Do y'all use y'all's uh, marital therapy for more real-time stuff now or or um, not fixing but addressing 
things that have like I Time guess or foundational things that y'all like. I huh. think uh, you want you want to go. I would say it's more real time stuff that always carries. I feel like real time stuff always you also comes with mm-hmm. a, a That's long exactly what I was say. caboose of like past stuff as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's a combination, ends up being a combination of both. But usually, like in the moment, we're talking about this and then we unlock things yeah. in the yes. past um actually i would agree that that's probably the last time i misunderstood because it land and actually what i said was it landed on me differently but this is actually what i realized too in a lot of um miscommunications <laughs> is that what you meant and what you said don't always align mm-hmm. and so it's like you, so when you're retelling a story it's often like well what i said was except you didn't yeah, say that at what all you, said. Mm-hmm. Right. you didn't say any of that so what i heard you say and like what you actually meant didn't align so it landed on me this way which made me feel this way even though you met this way but you didn't include maybe this really important part Mm -hmm. that maybe could have changed the whole trajectory of everything um so sometimes going through and having the conversation again allows you to like oh yeah that's true and And semantics sometimes matter i know sometimes people are like oh you just you just trying to play with semantics sometimes semantics Mm -hmm. changes the full meaning of what was said yeah i was about to say and like um, what you were saying about what you heard versus what was said could, that could also be, be different too. Way different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, these words verbatim. What you heard is the way you interpreted those words. Yes, and which is yes, correct. All of that. What was the last time he misunderstood you? The last time? Oh, he misunderstood me. Oh, mm-hmm. got it. When's the last time you misunderstood me? Thing is, I'd be clear. <laughs> She's like, if you didn't understand me, it's because you didn't want to. I'd be as clear <laughs> as a sunny day Give in the L.A. On all the languages. Okay. Ain't a cloud in the sky. <laughs> no clouds in my stones. I'd be, I, oh, you didn't understand? Let me, I'm, I'm quick to, let me say it differently. Oh, I'm going to say it differently. <laughs> You're going to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be clear as day. I can't think of the last uh, time. I know. I feel like because, especially if I've thought about it for a while, I um, I don't always mince words, which could be good or bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, yeah, once I'm at that point, it's part of the reason I don't, if, I, if I'm, like, I'm not in a place where I could talk about it, everything could become very, very jumbled. Mm. But once I've thought about it, I'm like... You didn't. You got your bullet points. Yeah, I got my bullet points. Reference points. A C footnote too. Correct. <laughs> By that time, I mean this is a whole dissertation. Like I got references, it's, a bibliography in the yeah, back. Yeah, no, it's yeah. gonna be clear understanding. You yeah. see, here's where you have me effed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen. <laughs> and this part right here yeah. is where you fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, Shut up. You found <laughs> out. Um, okay, this episode is sponsored oh. by Better Help. So, you know, we y'all have seen us kind of glow up, not just I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about in our emotional intelligence, in our communication styles, in how we handle each other. Y'all have gotten to see a lot of that in like real time as we present ourselves on these podcasts. And the fact of the matter is it makes us better in so many different areas of our life just being able to like really improve, self-improve and bring ourselves, uh, bring the best version of ourselves when we can to the table. Cause the thing is when you're not at your best, um, it's hard to really do great things. Sometimes it can happen, but a lot of times it becomes so much more difficult and you don't a lot of times get the things done that you want to get done. You can start to feel overwhelmed. You can start to feel bogged down, but There's a but. When you work with a therapist, you can get closer to the best version of yourself, especially the right therapist. And um, because a lot of times working with a therapist, you start to feel empowered. You're more prepared to take on everything that life throws at you because y'all know life be life. And it don't always it don't always tell you the curveball that's coming before it gets to you. So I have. Excuse me. I have worked with a therapist online for a long extended period of time. And the amount of growth I saw working with her was phenomenal. In my big old 42 years of life, when you feel like you 
I've learned so much. What else is there? I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about the things that caused me to stumble as far as in trying to reach certain goals. I learned certain thought patterns that I have that weren't to, to my own benefit. They were to my deficit. Um, so I always encourage any and everybody to get a therapist. And if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash dbtb today. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you the, get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash tbtb tbtb today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash tbtb tbtb. I want to say something real quick. The clarity thing you can never be too clear. Mm-mm. There was a time I, uh, me and Angel, um, I was, I, I, something rubbed me the wrong way, and I'm explaining this. I think for a day and a half, and I'm, I'm like pissed. I don't understand why you not understanding this. And one time of me re-explaining, and I inserted one word. It was literally one word, and she was like. Oh, I and I'm it. like, how could you? <laughs> but the way she was hearing what I was saying versus what I was saying, what I thought felt like I was saying, two completely different things. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. I have and no it was idea literally what the situation is. One word. On. Yes. Yeah, <clears throat> that is where we will always have. Me and Marcus, that's probably our biggest uh, thing is not, is misunderstanding each other. Marcus be tired of me talking. So he will stop listening before I have fully feel like I've clearly explained myself. He has been like tuned me out and on the same, on the same tone or same coin on the flip side, if Marcus's tone is off. I haven't, I'm not listening. (laughs) You ain't said, you ain't said a goddamn thing to me. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll and, get us. Yeah. That'll get us every time. Every oh. time, because I'm like, Angel's taking the scene to growl. You could have just oh, went that's straight. A, he'll be trying to cut me off. No. Get oh, in yeah. this car. Yeah. I filled it up. Mm-hmm. We're going to do the whole ride. I'm going down I'm okay. hungry. I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> so <laughs> she on filled yesterday, it up. Mm-hmm. when you said this You made a left. We could have given it thing, straight. I'm like, no, nah, nah, you going to let me finish. <laughs> You're going to let me now. You didn't cause a whole nother problem. I was addressing this problem. Now we got to loop back around. Yeah. <laughs> That's MapQuest driving. Help. Yeah. Miss return. Yeah. I got to go all the way all back the way to back. the last place I was. Halfway Listen. through, them words is bouncing off my eardrums. They done shut down shop. <laughs> Mm-mm. And then don't think I'm like, not okay. come back to it. And I'm next like, day. huh? Okay, so again, what I was saying. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. It's, mm-hmm. it's going to drive me crazy. And I'll be like, oh, well, we're just going to be miserable. We're here just going to be crazy together. All right, let's do a quick round robin of these questions. We'll okay. start at this end. This, See, I'm going to uh, give you a whole new question, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> I already looked at him. Put him in order. <laughs> Pull okay. from the top so you never know. <laughs> What was our family's greatest uh, test, and what did you learn from it? What did we? Oh, what did I learn what from it? What did I learn from it? Our greatest test was in buying these goddamn old houses. Yeah. I feel like these people tried us, and they just didn't care about this black family. They didn't care. This was a better one. Oh, well, that's why you got to filter them. You're right. <laughs> I'm team Liz. Uh, but I feel like we <laughs> we worked together really well uh, this last time where Marcus was just like, I ain't going to make you carry this burden by yourself because I'll be showing up to people's jobs. Like, you ain't about to play my family. What? what? No, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. When was the last time? I just asked this. Mm-hmm. Which part's the right hand? When was the last time you cried and why? We ain't going to ask Kevin Out of that. sadness? It don't matter. <laughs> uh, last time I cried was from laughing at uh, <laughs> the episode, the last week's TV episode, T- the TV, TV mm-hmm. stuff. Marcus will cry from laughing <laughs> quicker than anybody else I know. If it's, real- look, I don't laugh that much, a whole lot. But when I do, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my new question. What's a lesson our family could learn together? <laughs> You got to be the teacher's helper. You come up here and stand next to me. All right. You, I'm going to give you your questions personally. Yes. You come up here. Because Liz is just cheating. She's like, no, don't want to experience this I don't in wanna real know. time. Uh-uh. I want to know. Let me understand what's happening beforehand. 
<laughs> we had <laughs> yesterday we have uh, uh therapy we go to therapy on mondays oh man and my therapist asked me the same question 75 times okay the exact same question 75 times so i said i feel like i'm i'm failing a test i didn't know we were having <laughs> <laughs> Oh I was God, not was so prepared. I, 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 I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> I feel like there's lights on me. I don't understand. I'm at this point. I'm fishing for the right answer. I do not know what you're looking for. She's like, what are you feeling? What do you? What does it feel like? I'm feeling. She literally said to me, "Scan your body." Uh, Scanning. I feel nothing. Just tell me what you want me to say. Listen, Marcus asked Liz to do tasting with Tank. She said, "Let me see an episode." What does it look like? I need to see what it is. I need is. to understand what, what I'm getting myself. I need to, <laughs> I I need to understand. So show her episode. Like, this is yes. simple. This is easy. When She's I tell her a restaurant, I want to go to a new restaurant, and, sh- and I don't uh, supply pictures. Mm. Like, when she's getting dressed, it's like, I need to dress appropriate to the place we're Absolutely. going. When we just went to dinner the other day. She was like, I don't have, I don't have in between. Okay. I'm going to a red carpet, or I'm going to pick my kids up. <laughs> How do I go to Wendy's to eat inside? <laughs> <laughs> How do you go to Black Angus? Where's the yeah. right thing for that? Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Liz, go. What's a lesson our family could learn together? Oh. Am I answering? Yeah. Lesson our family could learn together. What's a lesson our family could learn together? Oh, I don't know. That's tough. I know. What's a lesson our family could learn together? What was the question in the pile you like? I think. <laughs> oh, give it back. <laughs> She's like, I, I got a good one that yeah, I yeah, hold on. that I was waiting to ask. If you had three years left to live, <laughs> what would you be doing differently? <laughs> <laughs> You get on me for being about control. You don't. I don't. No, want it's no a surprises. different. It's a different thing, though. What is it? You you control things differently. You do. Uh, what I do? I don't know. I'm making a distinction. I don't want to be. You. <laughs> what was the? I started laughing. What's if the you of? had three years left to live, what would you be doing differently? I wouldn't be working out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let me tell you. I got three years. I'd be at the gym like this is dumb. I'm gonna be big because it when I leave dumb. this, I'm finna eat what I want. I'm, that's I, why you gonna be. That's why I'm gonna be. That's why I be like this is dumb. I'm gonna be around two seventy. Why does it, it keep take? climbing? No, he been at two seventy for a minute. What would it take for what? You not to be big. What would it take a for a Marvel that? contract? Literally, <laughs> because they pay you money. What is that there though? Why is there something? Yeah, there man. is. No, there is not. <laughs> I why, bet why, you hold on, watch it. Watch, watch one roll in. We, we need you in who the shape that Wolverine was who in. Who is the dude from Eternals? Kumal. Cool. Yeah, I know you're talking about Kumal, the the Indian dude. Uh, Peck, yeah, mm, he's a, a man brown brother. That's brown. <laughs> I'm he said Marvel gave him a couple million to play the role. Then they hired him a trainer plus a nutritionist. And they gave him about a year and a half to get in shape. I was like, that's all I need. That there. A couple million. I was watching Jonathan Majors, what he had to eat to get as big. He was eating 6,000 calories okay, of protein Kevin, and chicken. Okay, what about this? Because I mean, what's that white right? dude from Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy? Pa- 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 Chris pa- pa- Pratt? Yeah, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Marvel lost, movie. Wait, wait, no, no, no. But he lost weight. Because he no. was going to be in a Marvel movie. No, no. Yes, but listen, they didn't pay him to lose the weight. But he got in a Marvel movie. And he was gonna was he away. big at what was that community? Or, was it community or Parks and Rec? Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. He was me. I think. Are you Star Lord? He said, "Oh snap! I'm Star Lord. Let me lose this Hold weight." Okay. You don't think you could eat six thousand calories a day? I'm not broccoli you and chicken. Four. No, no, no. <laughs> the six thousand, no healthy. problem. Oh, yeah, broccoli. It's chicken and broccoli. I feel 6, like there's something Steam underneath. Rice. There's absolutely something. A what DC is it? movie. <laughs> Transformers movie. No, there's something underneath. Eek, a on- health issue. That's what I was going to say. A health issue or a Marvel film. <laughs> or, okay. I'm working there. Well, so the doctor there. was like, uh, I'm going to need you to get a six pack by the end. Actually, you would I actually, no, he would. This is the no. thing. I just what? did my own series. No, 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 no. I'm talking about network is paying you. Yes, and he they're would. they're just like. Yes, he would. If you could just Without shave off about 34, 50. Kevin's biggest 30, issue. 50. 30, 40, 50. 30, 40, oh, 50. I thought you said 30, no, 40, 50. No, Kev would absolutely, this is Kev's actual biggest hindrance to losing weight 
is you have too many things that you're doing that you give priority to. Come on. If you allowed, if you allowed this to be pri- your priority, you would lose weight. You are easily one of the most disciplined people that I have. You just choose to not make this a priority to do. So okay, it has to be connected me, to something that's a bigger priority. Let me tell you what my problem is. A family full of people with six packs who's like, who wants boba tea? Who wants ice cream? <laughs> who wants ice cream? Melissa's well, like, who, <laughs> don't at me. Who making, who I'm making, getting a milkshake. I'm definitely going to eat a, a chocolate sundae every day. Who ha- Y'all want sundaes? I'm 270. You think I'm going to say no to that? <laughs> they all still going to have abs after chocolate Sunday. My abs is like, we can't really do the stuff they do, but we do it. Kev's abs is in the cellar. They, Bruh, don't, they don't hear none of that. Like, no, no, no. They're they they playing cards. My abs are in a survivalist basement. This is a whole <laughs> compound beneath the ground, ready for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Prepared with snacks. They think it already happened. It's like, well, we're just living out down here. <laughs> My family don't make it no easier. So a series, NBC, uh, uh, no, HBO. Nope. HBO's it's BET. Like, you said, you said NBC, go down NBC to, series, you wouldn't do it. Yes, H- it would. You said BET? BET yes, was would. like, we're doing Ke- the, the Brian Frederick Tyree case. Henry. That's a Great big Great career. Name. Built like Kev. No, but they- no, Jack Black. They're specifically what saying- What are they asking you? Like, they, no, you did, you sorry. Did, you did the first Not series. Right. Yeah. You said, I'm going to do it as Kev. But the second series, the second uh, season, money. I feel like y'all want me to answer another answer. No, because I, I, I. That's how I felt yesterday. I told y'all what the answer is. <laughs> All right, no, y'all because we think, right. no. think you're lying. Because you think you're lying to us. I'm in my own body. He's right. I tried. I knew church but, was coming. But second season, they was like, you know, that second season money different. They're like, but we're going to need you to get in shape for second season. Why didn't it change my life? Fat is a descriptive term. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so tall. Ain't no, answer ain't no your thing. last question. I mean, uh, uh, ask your last question. This money one is the same thing. I don't want that. You look at that's the last one. You know. Out. What right. can I help you most with? Most with what? What can I help you most with right now? What can you help me most with right Ooh, that's now? That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, Isn't that nice? That's, that's nice. Good. That's a uh-huh. question. Yeah. That's how I felt yesterday. I feel like there's a right answer. Okay, here we go. What can you help me most with right now? What can you help me most with right now? It would be. I wonder how different your answer would be from what his answer would be. What he thinks he could help you most with. But I would love to hear yours. Mm -hmm. What can, no, 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 no. No. what could you help me most with right now? It probably oh would be lifting the. Yeah. You don't want that. I don't. I don't need you to take over that. <laughs> She's like, no, you stay over there. Yeah. Um, you see her catching it real time. Yeah. I would not need help there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would need your help with. Oh shoot. Uh, dang. I was gonna be funny. Be funny. Like a good jokey joke here. Putting gas in my car. <laughs> yes, locking my, my car thing. door. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all be independent, strong black women until it comes to the basic <laughs> stuff. That's my feminine energy. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's my feminine energy. Yep. $3,000, 3523. It was not that 35. It, it was I, like 33 something. 35. I, I will bet you $200, which is the difference. That it was 35, and it's on your console right now. It sure is. You want to bet? I think it's in the video. It is. To do he what? Showed the price that he paid to get it a It is in the video. Oh. I ain't even got to go outside. Yeah, I think it was around 3300 And you can just push a button. Or I could have my covering come on. Yes. Amen. Yep. Cover me and click that button. I can have my cover and cover these nuts. I do. Hey! <laughs> I give you coochie O's. Hilarious. Coochie O's. <laughs> He's watching the video. Who's watching giving the video. up the 200 And I want cash. Or you, <laughs> you can pay me in sexual favors. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what the street. $200 I'm worth. A, I don't know what $200 was a. $32.56. Well, get that money out, Kevin. So, <laughs> so I'll take it in cash. Okay. Yeah, I hope you're getting dick. <laughs> <laughs> was a, you were rounding penis. up. 
You but you no, rounded all the way up. I did thirty. No, no, I was like, it was like thirty three hundred dollars. Dare come over here to this dyslexic town. You guys, thank you so much for watching TBTB. Check out our sponsors, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.